Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to create a Google Scholar account and to add your application in your account. So first we just go to Google Scholar. Okay, click on Google Scholar and then click on my profile here. Then if your profile don't have any account yet, so this one will show like your email is not registered under any Google Scholar account. So you can just like, just fill in everything. Just fill in your name, your affiliation, let's say something like this, and then your email. Yeah, everyone, most of the people might start on here if they are no longer a student or they are not a student. So you just simply put a EDU email for verification, but that means you still can create an Google Scholar account, just the account is not verified. So we can just put something like, Something like this, okay, and then this one is like, all right. So this one you can leave it blank. So I can show you something like if you create with gmail.com, yeah, they will not allow you to create. So let me copy this one. We just place it here, and then we click next. Okay, so they will say like your you must have like edu. So it's okay. You just click on edu.com. It's fine. Then just click on next. Then the next step here is for article. You need to add your article, otherwise you cannot click on next. So you, if you have article, then you just click on article here. Then you just find article. Okay. If you have a group that you know your name here is appear here, then you can just add this one. But since it's not, then we can just go to article. Then if you have a, an article, then you just find your article here, maybe this slide. I can refer back to here, then I can just copy this one. Okay, this one is my article, then I just place it here, then enter, then just add. So we can untick, and then you can see here it's not able, so we just simply click this one and then just select. If you don't have any publication, it's okay. You just find any publication, then you can remove later. Let me add something like this. Let's say, okay. So let's see here. Do you have so many publication here? Then you just simply select one. Okay, let's say this one. Then you click next. Then we'll go to the setting. Then here you can apply update automatic, but Better is we email me and update because sometimes the automatic update is not your paper or article. So you need to make your profile in public so everyone only can find you in Google Scholar. But don't worry, this one, this setting, we can set it later. So we click on done. Then that now you have your Google Scholar account. So here is the paper so if this one is not your paper then your purpose is to create the account then you can just remove this one yeah, delete okay so one day if you have some publication and then you want to add on here you can just click on add here add article in group that means you can find your name here let's say okay this is your name and then you can see like yang seng li like have like 35 article then you can just click on here Okay, then if other is the anything as well, then you can just take it. So then you just click on take here. So all the article will add into your form. Okay, so they also can add the article like manually, but this one will be troublesome. You need to fill in everything. Another option is like you just search for your article. So let's say I choose like years here and then I copy this one okay and then I remove this one I can delete anytime if it's not your article or it's your article you can remove okay so you just click on add and then add article then just choose the article here so you can choose it manually and then just play it and add it and add it back so you will have your article here. Okay, so don't worry about the not verified email. Yeah, if you don't have the EDU email, right? So you can't actually verify it, but you can still create your Google Scholar account. 
Okay, so next we'll be show you like how to make your profile public. You just click on here, then make your profile public. If you didn't do this, then actually your profile is can't find by other people. Okay, let's say I save my profile as public, then I just copy this link. Okay, then I just choose like new incognito and then paste it. I can view my account here. Okay, so let's say I have remove my profile visibility then i just untick and then save it so from here i should not able to search my account here okay that's why it's error so you need to just click on make profile public and then you can search it now okay so that's all guys thanks